Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Planche and welcome to this segment of Event TV. Today we are going to be chatting with Metaverse and we are going to be talking about the exciting world of virtual reality and how to incorporate that into your events. here with Alan Smithson and he is co-founder and CEO of Metaverse. So Alan, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. So tell me, how did Metaverse come about? So three years ago, I, uh, as you guys may, may or may not know, I invented Emulator, which is the giant see-through touchscreen DJ controller and I got invited to Eric Schmidt from Google's Curiosity Camp. And at that camp, it's full of tech entrepreneurs and really cool stuff and I got to see virtual reality for the first time. And I put on the headset, and I was literally on stage with Beck at a Beck concert, standing next to him this close. And I, I, I couldn't believe it. I turned around, the crowd was out there, and I was like, that's it, I'm in. I, I don't know what this technology, what this magic is, but I'm in. And ever since then, I was just focused on getting into this and how can I get into this business. And so a year ago, we started working on uh, towards this agency model of bringing VR to large corporate uh, businesses to, to really kind of tell their story through this new medium of virtual reality. So tell me a little bit about how do you see virtual reality being incorporated into events? Like what are the different types of elements that you can incorporate virtual reality into events? So some of the things we've been working on uh, at Metaverse are event-driven you know, activations. So uh, one of the main things is just an introduction to virtual reality. You know, exactly what you asked me, what is virtual reality? Majority of people around the world have never tried this. So what we've done is we've created a kind of an entry level um, thing where we bring a bunch of Gear VR headsets, which is the kind of the the lowest of the professional headsets, and we bring some experiences like swimming with sharks or going on a roller coaster. Roller coaster is crazy. It's like, it's crazy. Where do you kind of see this best fit? Is this at a conference? Is this during cocktails? So where we've seen the most uh, success with this is actually, you know, exactly that. And then the networking t side of things, when people are just having some drinks, they try it on, oh, it's cool, and then they talk about it. So how can virtual reality be incorporated into a team building activity? So one of the ways, you know, we've been asking ourselves the same question. How do we get multiple people? So one of the ways is by syncing all the headsets together, giving people the same experience at the same time. So when they pull off the headset, everybody's looking around. Because, you know, when you put it on one person, they're, they're a bit self-conscious. They're like, I have this, you know, bulky headset on my head, um, which, you know, people feel that. But the same thing, if you can get everybody to do it once or groups of people at once, it becomes a really shared experience. Um, you know, team building things, we've been really trying to figure out what the best way to do that. And one of the best ways we found is uh, a thing called VR bikes. So we've bought these bicycles that connect to VR and the faster you pedal, the higher you go or the faster you go and you can fly a unicorn. Um, one of the things we're working on right now is virtual reality conferences where we can link up to a thousand headsets. Obviously it has to be wired in, but a thousand people in a conference center can put it on and have a keynote delivered from anywhere in the world all simultaneously. So we're working on that as well. That'll be probably 2017. So tell us about the different uh, types of content that you can get through virtual reality. So the most basic is using a 360 camera and you can film, basically you put a camera in the middle of the room and you can film everything around you. Then it goes up from there based on, you know, you can have 3D effects so you have a depth to it and then you have also CG or computer generated graphics where we completely render the world. So this camera is a, the Samsung Gear 360 camera and it has two lenses pointing in 180 degrees each and then the software stitches it together to create one spherical image and so that uh, can be used as a 360 photo booth. This is the Samsung Gear VR headset. So uh, they partnered with Oculus, which invented, uh, or not invented, but brought to market to virtual reality. So this has some, some tracking uh, elements inside. <coughs> All it uses is a Samsung phone, which obviously can be branded. And you take the phone, <coughs> snap it in, and you've got virtual reality. So it's ready to go. And you can look around, I'm looking at sharks. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So right now I have a large shark coming towards me and I'd like to avoid it eating me, ideally. This is the, the next one up. This is the next one up. This is the uh, HTC Vive. Okay. And it comes as a room scale system so you can actually move around the room. Very cool. And then if I turn around, I can actually see the back of it. 
So another thing that we can do is experience different things. Like give me an idea of different, um, I guess, experiences that you can have from roller coasters to concerts. So I think uh, some of the main ones that have really piqued people's interest is the swimming with sharks, which you just did. Uh, that one gets everybody going. And then uh, being on roller coasters, there's some of the craziest roller coasters have been filmed in, in 360. Uh, some of the other more popular ones are really abstract ones where it feels like you're in a, you know, in a weird acid trip. There's things going at you and really trippy avant-garde stuff. And I think those types of uh, experiences really kind of hit home with people because they're just like... It's stuff that you can't experience any other way. So tell us about some client experiences. Give us some real life examples of what you've done for clients. So one of the ones that we're releasing next week actually is the Pride 360. So we shot the official Toronto Pride 360 video, which will be coming out. Uh, we've shot the Queen's Plate, obviously. We're working on an experience with uh, Niagara Falls Tourism to create a walk across the falls on a tightrope experience where you are literally walking with the, the headset and a stick and walking across and you can see your feet walking across the VR. Okay, so Alan, if someone wants to learn more about this technology and how to incorporate it into events, how can we find you? Metaverse.co and it's M-E-T-A-V-R-S-E.co.